Hello, and welcome to Rowena's Curse, a uh, Thief 2 fan mission by Lady Rowena. This was originally made, uh, originally released in 2003, um, but this is a uh, an up slightly updated version from 2008. Probably just a few bug fixes, there's a couple of updated models, nothing, nothing major. But, uh, it doesn't have a briefing. So I'm just going to do my usual thing and read out the briefing from Notepad. The story takes place during the events in Thief 2, before the death of Sheriff Druitt. Garrett receives an unexpected letter from Lord Carlyle. Mr. Garrett, I never would have thought that I would need your services, but sometimes life has a few surprises in store for you. Perhaps you've already heard of me making my daughter Isabella marry Lord Bafford's son, Cedric. They went to live in the country, in the old mansion that belonged to Lord Bafford's great-grandfather. However strange things have been happening in the last few months. Sheriff Truett's men were already there because of the mysterious disappearance of two of the maids. Isabella vanished a few days ago as well. I recently received a strange message from Barker, the caretaker. He is certain that Isabella is still alive and he urges me to do something about it, without even giving me any proof or explanations. Mr. Garrett, I want you to go there and find out what happened to my daughter. You will be well paid for your services, but if you manage to bring me back Isabella alive, you will receive such a reward that you, you will be able to retire for good. Start out by discovering what Barker knows, then find out what happened. I'm warning you now, I have no intention of letting Sheriff Truett know that I don't trust him and his men at all. He will not be pleased if he knew I recruited a thief to finish the job him and his men cannot do. Therefore, if you are caught, I will not help you in any way and I will deny any involvement. Good luck, Lord Carlyle. P.S. Isabella used to keep a diary. If you are able to find it, there should be some interesting information in it. Let's begin. Uh, difficulty. Right. Standard things except normal says don't even kill any unarmed. I'll do my usual and stick on hard. Read Lord Carlyle's letter. Oh, I guess we must have the letter game and I didn't check. Alright, I'll do that. Find Lazy Lady Isabella's diary. Find out what Barker knows about this mysterious affair. Even though you even though you will be rewarded handsomely for your troubles, don't forget that you're a thief. Get at least seven thousand loot. I technically we're stealing from a client here, but you know. Whatever. We are a thief, not a detective, so... What are you? Some kind of a monster? Don't kill anyone who's unarmed. Search for Lady Isabella, and if she's still alive, take her out of the mansion through the front gate. That's surprisingly specific, in terms of, uh, the way out of the mansion. Alright. Yeah. Oh dear, look. All our equipment is scattered all over the floor. Our sword is broken. Uh, let's take a lockpicks. Our compass. Uh, no arrows. Blackjack. All our arrows are broken. We have nothing except our lockpicks, our compass, and the blackjack. And of course, the letter here. From Lord Carlyle. But I've read that already. Uh, that's a, that's an inventive start to the mission. I like I like that. <laughs> it's a pretty weak sword if it broke that easily, but okay. Guess we chucked it over the uh, fence and then accidentally landed on it. Garrett, you've got you've been eating too much. You need to lose some weight so you can break your sword again. All right, start with a hard save. On a quick save because they always hit quick load and then discover it doesn't load the right thing. Here we are. Presumably in the grounds of the mansion. Oh, we can't get in. Oh, well, no worries. We'll just go back to Lord Carlisle that uh, we couldn't get in. Uh, well, without any arrows, we can't use a rope arrow, right? Can I mantle onto that? No. What am I missing? Unless we have a rope arrow here. No, these are all broken arrows. There's a letter, but I can't pick it up. Am I being blind? Am I just blind here? Let's look a little more carefully. 
Oh! I'm being blind. There was a big hole in the ground and I stumbled into it. Alright, I guess this is our way in. Don't we have water crystals? Alright, they've got a cistern here. Collecting rainwater from the grass. That's not very hygienic. Oh! This isn't a cistern. Uh, at least not for fresh water. These look like uh, the toilets up there. We're wading through sewage. Yay! Garrett loves sewage. Gross. Alright. A uh, very ignominious start. We uh, lose all our equipment, break half of it, and uh, <laughs> wade through sewage to get in. Uh, our, our stealth is not going to be very effective if the guards smell us coming. After discovering a hole in the outer walls, the turbine room is now to be locked at all times. A sentry will also be placed to guard the door day and night. Lieutenant Wilson. Well, I think it, neither of those should pose a problem for me. Can we hear, can we hear what the sentry's up to? Oh, he's actually patrolling. Is he? Someone's patrolling, and there's rats. That might be the sentry. Hmm. It might be wise to stay out of sight here. Pick the lock carefully and try and stay out of sight while we ascertain what the sentry is up to. Well, there's must be more than one guard here. Let's... Someone say something. No. No one would say anything like that. That sounds like a splash of water. Right. Feels a bit safer. A bit of a better way to get started. <clears throat> well, I don't think it's going to be possible to... Go get through here without any knockouts whatsoever. So let's just get started here. Supposed to be guarding this room, so he can guard it from the inside. And you can join him. I uh, wasted two water arrows there. Whoop, there's another guard. Oh, there's a lot of sheriff's men on the scene. And a lot of rats. I know which I'd rather deal with. The rats are friendly, yeah? Now, I could throw all these people into the water and drown them, but I'm not a murderer. I don't need to kill them unnecessarily. Unfortunately, you can't relock a door with lockpicks, or I'd lock them all in for fun. Alright. We have a little safer here. Do we have any. Replacements? Yes, we do. Yay. Yep. Look, that's where we came in. If only they'd been looking down the uh, the toilets when they uh, when I came in, they would have caught me already. But uh, you know, note for future guards: don't bother patrolling hallways. Stare down the toilet. I hear another one. I hear a spider as well, that's not good. Somewhere in this room, I think. Well, it doesn't yet know I'm here. I'll try and keep it that way. Jason, I wish I had taken your advice when you told me not to join the ranks of Sheriff Truett's guards. I shouldn't be stuck in this horrible place. We are staying in a filthy cellar with no light or running water. There are lots of rats down here, and yesterday I also saw two big spiders. I can only hope that they are not venomous. Officially, we are here to investigate, but we aren't doing anything. All we're doing is patrolling the house day after day. The only good news is the new maid, Lizette. I'm telling you, Jason, she's really something. If only you could see her. I'm quite fond of her. She's very charming. Maybe one day I'll summon the courage and declare myself to her. 
I have many more things I wish to tell you, but I'm being summoned now. I'm on duty tonight. I shall write you soon with more news. Your friend, Willie. Mmm, bread. And a broadhead. One. Well, uh, okay. That's one spider. You said you saw a couple spiders, so maybe more than one. Plus, I could always just use my weapon, my blackjack on the spiders, too. If they're small ones. I'm. I don't like dealing with spiders, so I'm gonna waste a water arrow here, so the hallway at least is, uh. The whole way at least is uh, clear. Where is this thing? God, it's just there to taunt me, isn't it? Can I safely ignore it? I'm sure there's loot in there. I'm quite sure there's loot in there. Maybe I can get a guard down here to fight it. There's an idea. Don't have any noisemakers. Strange noises. Who's out here? There. Get out here where I can see you. Come on up then. I'm closing in, Tapper. Oh, this isn't gonna work, is it? He's not he's not going after the spider. And the spider's not coming out. Possibly the spider can't come out. Whoops. Well, I've, I've messed up land, haven't I? A marvelous plan to get the guards to do my dirty work. It's uh, not gonna work. I do like the way the guards do sort of sort of know where you are and come for you. Uh, a little bit sneaky, but uh, also makes it quite tense. They, they don't know exactly where you are, you know. It's almost random. I mean, it's partly random. I actually haven't checked that bit of the code, but I do believe they're they coded to actually come towards you a little bit more often than they would. If it's purely random. Right. Let me stand on something. Oh, there's one. That's a little baby one. He's okay. I can blackjack him. Oh, he can't get out. Okay. Oh, there's two of them. Both little baby ones. All right, what, what am I so scared of then? Ah, uh, three of them. This is gonna look funny. You too, rats. They're hard to hit. Alright, well that's the spider's dead. Gah, Garen, his arachnophobia. Don't pick up any of these crates. Is there actually any loot in here? 
It was a lot, just a waste of time. Ah, oh, yes, there is something here, okay. We're kind of not really going about the business of the investigation just now, but you know. We do have 7,000 loot to mine. That's, that's, it was 7,000, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a lot. That's a ton of loot. That's like more than Garrett finds when he loots the entire, the entire district of the city uh, in Life of the Party. Typically only finds like, uh, two or three thousand. Wait, there's somebody asleep in here that didn't hear me jumping around earlier. Alright then. I don't need dice. What's marrows? One noisemaker. A little bit of gold. Question is, will this guy wake up if we start picking locks now? Some, sometimes they'll hear it, sometimes they won't. You know what? I want to make sure. I mean, he's. He was evidently drunk. We're just hitting the bed. Well, let's test his hearing, shall we? Oh, he's he's out of it. Don't need to worry. Ross, just let us say then. I saw her! I still can't believe it, but I know I didn't imagine it. I saw her with my own two eyes. I was patrolling the garden when she suddenly appeared out of thin air. She seemed to be staring right through me at my very soul. Her lips slowly curled into a wicked smile. I suddenly felt like all my muscles had turned to water. Those gleaming eyes, that evil smile. I was paralyzed with fear. When I finally snapped out of it, I ran away as fast as I could. I was heading in this direction when I ran into Parker. He asked me what happened, but I just told him it was nothing. I just couldn't tell him. I can't tell anyone. They would all make fun of me if I told them what I saw. Oh, how I wish I could leave this cursed place. I guess he's drinking to forget. Alright. Let's leave that open. So I know that I've searched it. Is there a door here? It was. How have I been in here? Yeah, so it's a lot of situation, okay. Alright, one more room in the basement. Another guard room. Well, I'm slowly getting more broadhead arrows from this guard's place. Um, don't know about you, but that looks like a secret door to me. Doesn't have a lock I can pick, so there's gotta be some kind of switch somewhere. I'll check for that in a minute. There's a Latin one. wonder what that's good for, apart from critting light. Another scroll. These damn nobles. They use golden plates to eat whose value alone would be enough to feed a whole family for a month. I'm sure no one will notice if I take a few souvenirs along with me. I found a perfect dining place under the stairs. I'll put all the souvenirs there. I'll have to keep a key with me. Alright, that's a good clue. Where I can find loot. It's not really stealing if I'm ste if it's already been stolen, right? I can do it safely. I saw Silas open his hiding place under the stairs. If I could only discover where he keeps the key. Because he keeps it with him. I like how he made a note to himself about that. It's not a whole diary, just, uh, just one little note about uh, the key. Now there's a hiding place here, is that the one? 
because that, that's under the basement stairs, I guess that's what he's talking about. Does he keep the key here or does he keep it on him? He says, oh no, that's the wrong one, that one. I'll have to keep the key with me, so I need to look for a guard carrying a key and then I guess it'll be Silas. None of these guys have a key, did they? I didn't really check. I probably should. I was just asking what good is a lantern? Well, let's find out. That's what good a lantern is. Oh, you're Dolan. Oh, they got names. I must have name tags. Dolan. Daryl. Vinicius. Vlad. And Vincent. All the D's and V's are popular initials. That line is, can be handy, I guess. If I need to find something dark. Alright, let's get out of this basement away from all these squeaking rats. Actually, let me make, let me just drop this, uh, these notes that I don't need. That one I'll keep. Alright, I'll keep the drop those ones out the door there. Oops. Let's try not to get caught here. And we're outdoors. You can see the sky. You can hear a bunch of guards. I think I'm going to have to do some dowsing. Yep, it's me. So we'll go upstairs. We've got a guard over there staring at the window. No one else I can see. Uh, he comes in and out. In the garden here, so uh, what part of the garden? Do I have a map actually? I never thought to check. Yes, I've got a map. So, alright, that's, that's the whole basement. Stairs to the courtyard. That actually shows me where the uh, hole is. If I looked at my map, I might have actually looked for that hole instead of falling down by mistake. Never mind. Uh, accident area. This was up there in the garden. I guess that's joining joining here. Uh, so where is this? Stairs to courtyard. This is like a basement. Do we have stairs to basement? Stairs to old barracks. Yeah, that must be where we're coming up. There's a guard standing here. The other guy came out the door and is walking out towards that gate. So we are here. Good. It's not probably just the wind. Oh, he's uh, talking to someone. Is he talking with that lady, the Jason that Willie likes, the servant lady, or is he just watching her? Willie, are you just creeping now? <laughs> You really shouldn't. I'll teach you. Alright. Well, if my job is to investigate, going to the accident area would seem a uh, good place to start an investigation, but that's quite a long way away. Uh, we've also got Barker's apartment. We do need to find out what Barker knows, so Barker's apartment is another good place to check. So another floor, there is another floor. Oh wow, okay, there's a... A different basement, we're in the old barracks, so there's even a dungeon. This is, must be an old place. <clears throat> I don't know which was uh, Isabella's room yet, so I don't know where her diary would likely to be. Let's go check out Barker's apartment. Keep an eye out for this guard who's going to and from the mess hall. According to the map, Barker's apartment is here, right? Right, so we're going this door. Oh. I'm staying in the library tonight. I do not want to be disturbed unless it's very important. Barker. Okay. 
like it's stuck in there. It's handy. Make sure we won't be disturbed. Wow, our bark has been collecting moss. That's very handy for me. Ten moss crystals. Let's turn the lights off. So has Barker left anything that we can read in here? I was going to say, let's cut down this banner, but I don't have a sword and I can't slice it down. Well, he's left me some coins. I'll have those. No kind of diary or anything, is there? Hmm. Okay. Over in here, let's turn the lights on again and have another quick check. Nah. Yeah, well, I guess we're gonna have to find him in the library. Barker. He's faithful like a dog, he is. Aha. Who uses this? This is unnamed. Probably a quarters of one of the other higher ranking servants, I guess. This is, and this is also by the Barkers. Another full moon and I'm still at the beginning. On my way here I ran into Ethan. He looked quite troubled, as if he'd seen a ghost. I'm worried that I may know who the ghost is. I'm not going to spend, oh, sorry, I'm going to spend the night in the library. I've not given up my search yet. Uh, welcome Adrian Shepherd. Just turned up in the chat. I'm playing uh, Lady Rowena's Curse here. Investigating the disappearance of uh, Isabella from this mansion. All right, so I'm just gonna mark the places I've been because there's a lot of rooms here. Uh, it's generally there. Because the map isn't showing me, isn't isn't marking it for me. Uh, mess hall, or we can go. Let's check out this bit of garden. It's presumably a dead end, right? I have to get another door into the mess hall. Dead end indeed. Now there's a guy that comes and goes from here, so we need to be careful. Yeah, I haven't played any of uh, Lady Rowena's fan missions yet, so... Oh, hello. He's not the one who goes for a walk, is he? Or is he just waiting there, let me... Explore this room and look. No! Where's Benny? Is that a servant girl has just entered in, or a noble? Oh, is it... I don't know who it is, but it looked like, um, oh, what was her name from Thief 2? The detective. He has to trail through the city. Yeah, I don't really have enough water arrows to get dousing everything here. Yeah. There's just no one and nothing. Seems peaceful enough now. As it should. Lady Lucretha lost the spare key to her room in the chapel yesterday. If anyone finds it, please leave it inside the chapel on one of the window cells. Alright, where's the chapel? Key on sill. Yeah, mostly that's the one. Thank you, Adrian. Oh well. No, it doesn't look like mostly except for the braid. I'm sure there's, there's a guard who wandered in and out of here, so... Ah, him. Well, okay. I don't have to worry about him. Hey. Benny, come with me. Well, this is... This is before Truett's murder, so presumably this is, uh... Before Mosley was promoted to, uh... Higher position, I guess. Hello. You're making shorter rounds. 
than the last time. You didn't. You didn't come through here that often. Right, sleep there. I don't know the patience to carry you all down to the uh, room in the basement. Wait, I should check names. Wayne? Is this Bruce? No, it's Derek. Is she coming back through yet? Not yet. There she comes, I think. Alright, she comes through into this room. I'm in the way. Well, that's a problem I can solve. I know. Don't go out. Nobody better ask what you and the guards are doing down in this corner. Uh, considering you're all quite unconscious, it can't have been anything too bad. Alright. Oh wait, Garrett's going to practice his archery. Not very good. Garrett, you need to practice that a lot more. Those aren't valuable plates, are they? Oh, there's something wrong with this table. <laughs> the table was stretched, but is it... Forgot to stretch the physics model for it, okay. Never mind. An easy mistake. I got all the arrows from there, I know. I missed one. Alright, so we're getting north out of the mess hall. We're coming to another patch of garden. This is good, I'm gonna try and make my way around to the accident area because I think that's, you know, see the crime. I don't even know what this accident is. Ooh, dear, oh dear, there's another guard patrolling there. I hate creepy noises. Don't worry, you won't hear any more again tonight. He's the one I uh, saw on a long patrol route then. Are the other ones are a shorter patrol route, or there's two and they were overlapping at different times? That's probably most likely. Dear, dear. Well, three of them in a pile. There's nothing I like worse than having guards interrupt my work. My important work of practicing my aim. Hellcat, you missed the target entirely? Try that again. No, no, that one eats arrows, okay. Something weird about my bow and arrows. Yeah. Something seems weird about that. I don't know what exactly. Might be custom. That's just unfamiliar. Okay, let's go see what was out here. <sighs> Tiny strip of metal. Which uh, clumsy foot Garrett just steps right on one of these frog beast eggs. Why are the frog beasts all roaming around here? Laying eggs in this dark corner. It's not really a typical frog beast nesting kind of uh, spot, is it? Can I put them up there? Well, I can't, but there's probably no reason to anyway. Alright, it's standing in the shadows, and we have the dining room. To the east and the kitchen just here. Let's check the kitchen. Oh, and I like that wall texture with the fine climbing all over it. Uh, didn't sound like rats this time. <coughs> wow. Nope, I'm not, I'm not good really, because if it was something, you'd have to get the guards to investigate. Ooh, I was lucky, I didn't realize he turned. Oh, 
Either someone walked out that door, or one of those doors. I'm just hesitating in case they walk back in. <clears throat> well, let's stop hesitating. No, it's not Cavill. That's strange. I could have sworn something was there. I mean, there was. There was a guard. Right there. Do I hear footsteps? <coughs> I thought I heard footsteps. I don't need to knock out servants, but uh, I want to know who's coming and going. I do need to knock out servants if they uh, actually start running and yelling, because then they bring the guards. It's nice and warm here by the fire. Is there another way out of here, by the way? Do I have to... Yeah, not really. All right, let's just hope our timing is not terrible. Because if my timing is terrible, I'll get caught in the act. Sleep. <laughs> my timing was almost terrible. Here comes some footsteps for real. Guard or seven. Guard. Okay. Well, now we know he takes a while, so uh, we can quickly check out these ovens. Any uh, tasty food? Tasty fire arrows? Ooh, clumsies. Scroll vases. Nothing else of value. Alright, what's here? Is this a fridge? Freezer. Storage. Cheese! Look at that cheese. Deer legs. Fish. Your dad doesn't like fish. Uh, a very short ladder. Hmm. Actually, that's probably better. Safer to be off. Let's, where's my scanning rod? Can I see what's on that top shelf? Well, not like that. Hello, Garrett. I've never used a scanning rod to try and see what's on a shelf before. It's probably nothing, right? I'll wait for the guard to go so he won't doesn't hear me throwing it around. Is that? Oh, there's a guard elsewhere, okay. Oh, here he comes. There's two sets of footsteps here. Two guards. Alright. Ah, Garrett, you're a terrible throw. There we are. I probably can't get it back again. Ah, all that, and there's nothing on the top shelf at all. So misaligned texture on that rafter. The builder was uh, very boring. Yeah, I probably can't get it back now. Oh well. What a waste. We have another drunken guard. Your imagination. Ah. Oh. No wonder he's drunk. They left, they left him in charge of the wine cellar. It's bad. I don't have a dark corner to hide him in, do I? Yeah, not really. Yep, someone's coming. This is Sean. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See out there. I want to hear vague footsteps. Not... Well, they're definitely in here now. Someone 
else coming? Right, Sean, you're gonna stay in the corner then, and I hope you're hidden well enough. I hope nobody comes into this room as well. Right, they've gone. If there were, it wasn't any good wine here, uh, Sean there has drunk it all. Oh, so this is the basement. Alright, so we do have a map of this spot. Um, so we were in the wine cellar. Okay, this is... Are we facing east? We are facing east, alright. This doesn't... Does this take me where I want to go? To garden. We want to go to the garden. Which means we do want to go out. This way. Oh dear, someone's coming. Sounds like footsteps from the garden door there. In the garden. So they come this way. So much foot traffic. Well, there's one guard. Step back to make sure I'm out of the way and almost get seen. Right, he wasn't in the garden. Now I'm gonna need a key for that, okay. Oh, that's somebody upstairs I'm hearing now. There must be tiles floors up there that uh, I can hear through the floorboards. So, if I keep going through the basement, where's it going to take me? Bunch of rooms. There's more stairs up to the internal courtyard. I've checked out the wine cellar. I've checked out this room. Let's keep my marks going. As far as I know, both guards are going the same way, right? So if I come out this way, I'm not actually going to get spotted. Am I? It's just a machine room. Which we have visited. What's that? Oh, nothing. How many men has the sheriff sent? Back on all this overtime. Like a whole city's worth. Are you coming in here too? Doesn't sound like it. Can I turn all the stuff off? No, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? All stuck on. Also noisy. Oh, more footsteps. On both sides. Right, these ones won't come in. your key. Alright, so that's a boiler room, I guess. Or furnace. Furnace room. Silas's key. Well, Silas, uh, would you like to sleep down here? Don't fall in. I hate it when they fall in and burn their faces. Oh, I see a passageway here. Interesting. Interesting. 
Let's just come back to that. Because now I've got Silas's key. I need to go take his loot from the basement because I will probably forget otherwise. Got to be careful because there's still lots of foot traffic here. And in fact, there's someone coming now. Our ears and eyes open. This is other set of footsteps I hear. Oh, there's one. What was that? Did you see anything? No, quiet now. Yeah, if you'd only stepped out the door. Alright. You guys can sleep in the machine room, it's nice and quiet here. Yeah. Dear idea, there's another guard walking around. Maybe that's the one I was just hearing there. Alright, back through the kitchen. Yeah, that's him walking around there, okay. Nobody over here? Alright, I think we're reasonably safe from this point to go back. Through the mess hall. This is like kind of a long way around, but okay. I think this area is clear. Sure, where's Silas's key? That's a servant through there. I could see through the window there, whistling. There's the rats again. Alright, let's see if we can open his little uh, secret hidey hole. How did he get the key to this? Maybe it was sitting in the lock. He's picked up quite a store here, hasn't he? That's... Silas, you're a very naughty boy. Where's that key? Oh, it got eaten by the lock, did it? Okay, that works. I'm never really sure if I like it when fan missions do that. It's convenient, no doubt. I mean, it's definitely convenient. Uh, mess hall, yeah. Hey, it's very convenient that you don't end up with an inventory that's just jam-packed with keys. But at the same time, I kind of like hanging on to keys. Even if it's really not to much purpose, I do like the idea that I can uh, actually relock keys. Uh, have I been in the packs? No, I haven't, because I came down here, which just goes downstairs. Yeah, but I've been in the mess hall. Right, oh, there's a secret passage here. Now oh, it's locked. Oh, it does not need a key. I can pick it. Which way are we going? East. There. Lucky for you, the mute button on my mic is within reach, so you didn't have to hear it. I should have taken my hand off the mask as well, I wouldn't have seen that file and shaking. Oh, hello. Stone floors. Guards. Well, of course there's guards. Hello. 
show yourself. I will, shortly. Have a little patience. Alright, where is this coming out, do I think? It's heading east around here. It's gonna be maybe this hallway? Don't know. Really don't know. Oh. It's a walkway. Yeah, it must be here. Or something. It's usually going around the garden, the courtyard. Inner courtyard. Got stuck there. Is he actually coming? Yeah. Tell you what I'll do. I'll leave them to their patrolling. And I will, um, I think it comes out here. Somewhere, I'll probably get right near, I don't know. Just put a question mark right there. I'll go back and finish exploring the basement. I'll keep that open. It's a useful, at least a useful hole to bolt into if I'm getting chased by guards. It'd be very useful for that if I get caught. If I was ghosting, I'd be, uh, particularly good. One of these days I'll uh, try ghosting a mission, but uh, I've never been very good at it. What's up here? Oh shit. Metal floor. Oh, is this the inner courtyard? No. What? I mean, there's balconies all around. The uh, Cthulhu statue. Very pleasant. Stairs on the southern edge. Oh, it does say to internal courtyard. Okay, so that furnace passage must come out further east. Then must come out here. Somewhere? Oh, I don't know. It's a very good map, yeah. Very detailed map. That's the stairs of the courtyard. That's a little northeast of them. So if I look here, that's the stairs. I think. Which means the entrance so is not going under the library. So I think the thing comes out somewhere here. I just, just mark that then as uh, for the moment. And it goes east and the south and east. Maybe it comes out. Maybe it's actually coming out here. Because there's a lowered. Lowered walkway. Ah, whatever. I don't know. I don't really need to know yet. Alright, back to the basement. It's just, just the fellow walking back and forth, right? Yeah. Alright, he doesn't actually come out here. So you can sleep too. Oh, that's a metal floor. Let's not go there. Let's try here. Okay. This is... Where's the basement? Boiler room. I'm going to call it. Ledged ground floor? A ladder leading to the ground floor, okay. Let's check the map again. My since my goal is to try and find I was trying to get to this excellent area, right? I also want to get to the library where Parker is. To get to the accident area, I've gotta get out here. I don't know how to do that. None of the exits here really take me there. Maybe I should go to the library and find out what Barker knows first. If I do go this way, where is this relative to the library? Uh, this is south of the uh, central courtyard. 
It's a nice dark room. It uh, appears to be off the beaten path. And in this place, the beaten paths are very beaten. Don't see a candidate for this room. It's maybe this one or that one. Yeah. Well, we have lots of these. Let's start using them. What was that? Just rats again. Right, so there's guards right here guarding a staircase up, so we must be here. Right, that's not very useful. That's not a good approach. If there's a guard there facing our way. And lots of light. I've got moss arrows to spare, but I don't have... I don't really need one, but I don't have uh, water arrows to spare. Wait, where were those stairs up? Let's take... Let's go to the courtyard. To the courtyard. Oop. That's the shadow. Guards wandering the balconies. Guard going... Pass. That's the library there, to the east. That's where I want to go right now. So far, so good. Why did you open the door if you're just going past it? Very odd. Very, very odd. There's some moths, so there'll be fewer odd noises in future. There's another guard coming. Library door is locked. So that plan will not work, so I'm gonna have to come up with another plan. Alright. It has been 58 minutes, so I'm gonna think about another plan while I make myself a cup of tea. And I'll see you here for the next episode. Thanks for watching.